Now you may well be as experienced and qualified as our Lord and Saviour Sir Alan Titchmarsh. But despite this, things can still go wrong in the garden, plants can die, things don't always turn out as you expect them to. And one such thing that's happened to me this year is the, uh, is the issue I've got with my Mayer's Lemon. Now, you can be forgiven for thinking that this is a dead lemon tree. It certainly isn't pining for the fjords, and it probably is an X plant. Now, I have had this particular plant for about six years. Now, four years it stayed in its pot against a uh, south-facing house wall, so you had plenty of warmth on the wall, and uh, it just had a couple of uh, layers of fleece for winter protection. Um, when I brought it to, to this garden, uh, I thought that um, it would do better if I got the, uh, the root ball out of the pot where it would be exposed to freezing conditions over the winter and into the ground and that way it's in a more stable environment, it's more protected from the cold and it would have access to a lot more nutrients that are already present in the soil. So I moved it into this border where it gets uh, partial shade. Um, and it really didn't perform at all. It didn't put foliage out, it didn't put uh, any new flower bud out, it really just sat there and it'd been there two years and really didn't perform very well at all. And I'll be honest with you, I got a little bit fed up with it. I found it a bit boring, it really didn't fit in with the, uh, the other exotic looking plants. And uh, come the winter, when the winter temperatures got really, uh, really cold, I would say about uh, minus seven, minus eight, in order to protect this properly, I would have had to have lifted it, repotted it, put it into the greenhouse, move everything in the greenhouse that was already there to accommodate it, and I really wasn't up to doing that job. So um, I am entirely responsible for the condition that this plant is in at the moment. Let's take a bit of a closer look at this. Look now, normally you've got yeah, your vascular bundle around the edge of the, uh, the, the bark there and if that was viable and still active you should expect to see like a little ring of green and obviously there's absolutely nothing there and of course there's not, the whole thing's absolutely dead. So the question is, did I actually kill off my beloved, I say beloved, I did get bored with this plant, it really doesn't fit in with uh, the, uh, the tropical effect theme that we have in the garden now. So the question I put to you was, did I manage to kill off my citrus lemon? Uh, well, the answer is actually, no, I didn't. And despite what I've just shown you, let's take a closer look. So ignore all of this uh, branch work here and uh, concentrate on what's going on down here on the main trunk of the plant. And you can see dormant buds have broken and you've got new leaf coming out of the stem and that is coming out all the way around this trunk. And this means that the, the root system is fine, this trunk is fine. And if I cut back this old framework and allow this to keep on growing, then this will develop back into the lovely citrus tree that it was. So there you go, despite the terrible winter weather we've had, my horticultural negligence and genius has managed to stop this plant from dying. I did nothing really, I really didn't do anything. Um, but it has come back, and the point of this video is you've always got to keep your eye out and uh, wait, wait for warmer weather. There's plants that you may think are dead, may not be dead at all, and, and actually they are ready to spring back into growth in the spring. So there you go, thank you for watching. I did not kill my lemon, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.